So part of buying a house is constantly updating things. And at this point, we basically painted every wall in this house a different color, except for the wall behind me. But as you can see with that wall behind me, my wife decided to test out a couple different samples. And I'm now going to show you one of the perks of being married to a visual effects artist. She marked up the wall in not one, not two, but three different places, and she still doesn't know which sample she wants to go with. So I thought, I should speed up this process. So I'm gonna move these jackets and use visual effects to replace the color on this wall. All right, so if you wanna know how I created that, here's a quick breakdown, but first let me send off the photo to my wife so we can see what she says. I think this might help you choose a color. All right, so take a still of the wall that you want to change the paint color on. And if you're doing a video, make sure you color correct it before you bring it into After Effects because there's no sense in changing these colors when it's not accurate to how the paint actually looks. But if you're taking a photo, just make sure it looks similar to how we see it in our eyes. Now you're gonna create a new composition with that still image and it only needs to be one frame long since it's just going to be another still image. Now duplicate that image and rotoscope and mask everything that's touching the wall so that we can keep it there or you can rotoscope and mask the wall out. I just decided to rotoscope the door, the mirror, all that stuff. Now I create another duplicate of the original layer to create a little mask around the paint sample so I can use it to compare for the color that we're going to create on the wall. I then created a new solid and moved it under the rotoscope layer and then added fractal noise. So therefore the color of the solid doesn't matter. So now we have a fractal pattern where our wall used to be and I just started playing with the contrast and the scale to try and get the fractal pattern to match as best as I could the texture of our wall. This image would look pretty dull if there wasn't some sort of texture on it because that's how the walls look in a normal home in at least in the United States. I then added the tint effect to that fractal pattern and tinted the black color to the darkest part of the paint sample that I had already masked out. And then I tinted the white color to the exact same color so I could use that as a baseline for the whites and just brighten it up a little bit and lower the saturation. Since the whites are going to be in the highlights, when things get brighter, they tend to you know go up in brightness, but then also lose saturation. After I got a look that I liked, I deleted that paint sample and then I started for the effect called drop shadow and added it to the rotoscope layer so we can add shadows back onto all the stuff that we rotoscoped out like the door frames and the mirror and the table etc. I then also used a basic black shape layer to just create a little line where the two walls meet in the corner. I then searched for the effect called noise and added it to our wall layer because I wanted a little bit extra texture on top of the fractal noise to try and best match the wall. But I could only get there after adjusting the settings of appropriately for my scene. For the final touches, I created two more solids, one black and one white. For the white one, I masked a little oval shape to emulate the light that was coming in from the glass on the front door. And for the black solid, I made an oval mask up in the corner where the corner meets the ceiling. And of course, I feathered out the mask and played around with the opacity to try and make it look as natural as possible. And I knew that, ah, oh, she texted back. That's cool, how did you do that? You can watch my video when it comes out. Anyway, I knew the images didn't have to be perfect, just a good representation of what the paint would look like across the wall with about 90 to 95% fidelity. Now, if she'd just tell me which one she likes better, we could wrap up this video. Oh, here we go. Hmm, yeah, I don't really like either of them. Mother 